lock I believe the rock I shall reveal to you what the ancient signs are And the day just trying to come close But they be so far away from the truth Don't be let loose From the sign and the proof Hope you cut it in blood I see the barren This one lie around the man of right hand I let go by the king and I call her name Yeah, the priesthood of the nation Offering blood fat, smoke and libation Atonement for the nation Maintaining divine collaboration Oh, sacred and exclusive office Messianic fulfillment of the prophets The covenant of seven days is the only way Yeah, you must perform the ritual To appease the spiritual Reality, y'all hate, wild hate Hear what I say, no red heifer can stop the judgment day It's just what the cat can say, they're not bloodline anyway This cow start Armageddon in the Middle East in April 2024. And what does this have to do with Israel's war on Palestine's Gaza? On the 100-day anniversary of Israel's brutal assault on Gaza, Hamas spokesman Abu Ubaida released a video explaining the motivations behind the group's incursion into Israel on October 7th. Alongside Israel's continued occupation of Palestine, he also mentioned the bringing of red cows into the occupied Palestinian territories. Ubaida was referring to the plans of numerous right-wing Israeli groups who believe that a red cow must be sacrificed in order for the Jews to progress plans to demolish the Al-Aqsa Mosque and build the fabled Third Temple in its place. It might sound like a conspiracy theory, but hardliner Israeli group the Temple Institute have already purchased and imported five red Angus heifers from Texas at a cost of $500,000. They have been grazing in a kibbutz in the occupied West Bank since 2022, with reports that the sacrifice is planned to take place as early as April 2024. The sacrifice of the red heifer has its roots in the Torah and the Talmud, and it is believed that the ritual is necessary to purify the Jews so that they can pray at the Al-Aqsa compound. The sacrifice will reportedly take place on a plot of land on the Mount of Olives facing the Al-Aqsa Mosque. The cow must be completely red, including its hooves, and must be around three years old at the time of sacrifice. Following the sacrifice, the ashes of the cow are due to be mixed with water and used to purify selected Jewish priests and their adherents. Since occupying East Jerusalem in 1967, right-wing Zionists have long sought to build a third temple in place of the Al-Aqsa Mosque. While initially the goal only of fringe groups such as the Temple Institute, the plan has been mainstreamed in recent years, with groups of settlers regularly storming the Muslim compound and attracting support from numerous politicians and commentators. Temple organizations have even submitted blueprints for the construction of the temple and prepared the ornaments it will hold. Last year, during the month of Ramadan, a temple movement activist was arrested after he and a group of Jewish extremists attempted to bring a goat into the Al-Aqsa compound for a ritual sacrifice. The decades-long Israeli excavations under the Al-Aqsa Mosque have also been condemned by international archaeologists and denounced by numerous authorities who say they are a means of weakening the foundations of the mosque to facilitate its demolition. If Israel were to attempt to demolish the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third holiest site in Islam, it would trigger outrage across the Arab and Muslim world. However, even if these right-wing Jewish groups are unable to proceed with the demolition, many fear that the sacrifice itself could embolden Jewish extremists to occupy the mosque and further restrict the rights of Palestinians to access the holy site. So the short answer to this is no. The red heifer cannot stop the Armageddon. The Armageddon is actually taking place right now. And the other reality is only the seed of Aaron, okay, and the designated houses of Lawi can attend to sacrifice. Okay, we have to understand that. So we have to understand that offering sacrifices of any kind only belongs to the house of Lawi and the house of Harun, okay? Nobody can come near the offerings, okay? 
Numbers 18 and 22. Neither must the children of Israel hear forth, come nigh the tabernacle of the congregation, lest they bear sin and die. So we also understand you can't just proclaim yourself to be priest. There is also a seven day ritual that must be performed. Emiluim. Okay. And once again, in order to undergo this special sacred ordination, you must be from the house of Harun. Okay. You must be from the house of Lawi. So in the reality, it doesn't matter how many red heifers they buy or sacrifice in Israel. They are not from the bloodline of the Kohanim. So it's just a superstition. It makes absolutely no difference, whatever. And according to the Halakha, it is invalid. Priesthood of the nation, offering blood back, smoke and libation, atonement for the nation, maintaining divine collaboration, or sacred and exclusive office, messianic fulfillment of the prophets, the covenant of seven days is the only way, yeah, you must perform the ritual to appease the spiritual reality, y'all hate, wild hate, hear what I say, no red heaven can stop the judgment day, it's just what the captains say, they're not bloodline anyway. Defend that.